Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Dhingra, a proud FinTrammer and your faculty for financial reporting exam. Welcome, welcome friends, welcome to the FinTram Revision Bootcamp for financial reporting exam, a step in your journey of becoming an expert in the FR exam. Yes, my friends, many of you, my friend, who have already given the FR exam or who would give the FR exam would surely realize, my friend, that one of the biggest issue for the FR exam is to revise all the IFRSs and have the questions being done on them. The practice of the question is the super important thing, my friend, for any practical exam and financial reporting exam really, really, really want you to practice as much as possible to really excel there and have a good hang of the question that you may get to see in the exam. And that is the reason, my friend, we have the FinTram Revision Bootcamp for financial reporting exam coming your way. We have a lot to cover in this, my friend, keeping in mind the need of you, keeping in mind what you exactly need to excel in this exam. What we are covering over here is, my friend, all of this. Let's go one by one. To start with, my friend, we would be covering the exam format and the pattern for you to really do well in any exam, my friend, any exam for that matter, you really need to know as to what the exam is all about. What is the pattern of the exam? What is the format that you may get to see over there? What all are the sections in those exams and how you would be targeting that in the best possible way? The more you'll understand as to what the section really comprises of, and then you have the technique or the strategy to really target that, better you are fit in terms of handling that from the examination standpoint. And that is what we'll be covering over here, getting into the nuance in terms of, you know, what the exam pattern or the format would got to be looking like and what should be your strategy towards it. We'll be talking upon a lot of exam techniques, my friend. And I do have one copyrighted mnemonic, which I have crafted and drafted for yourself that we'll be sailing through in detail in the entire financial reporting revision bootcamp and i call it to be fd me my friend that is not the fixed deposit for the pankaj dingra that is the fixed deposit for yourself my friend fd me is going to be your tool of coming through and sailing through the entire financial reporting exam and we'll get into the details and apply this concept onto the various questions when we'll do the revision bootcamp my friend now now that we have learned the format, we have learned the technique in terms of how should you be handling that. Now is the time, my friend, to apply, to apply the IFRS, to apply the technique onto the questions. And that is the reason, my friend, we have the video question marathon, my friend, that is coming your way. That is the pool of the questions, my friend, that we have crafted and drafted for yourself to really give you the Excel or the or the visibility in terms of how the exam might look like this has the concept questions my friend and the comprehensive questions and the past examination questions to give you a perspective as to how those questions might look like if you get to see one in your exam we will be doing the continuous revision of the ifrss my friend and applying those ifrss onto these questions so it will be helping us in two way it will be helping us in revising the concept and at the same time understanding how to apply those concepts onto those questions to really come up with the flooring colors. We have three sections in the FR exam and we'll get into the details. But for the sake of ease, my friend, we have crafted and drafted our, our video question marathon also into three pillars. We have the section A that has the objective type questions, my friend, again, getting on to reading that what is to be read, how it is to be read, what is to be stressed out, how you should be really noting off on the, on, on the dates and how you should be answering that is something we have learned at length in handling these questions. After that, we'll move on to the section B, my friend, wherein we have the case study questions. We have a case and then we have the five MCQs in relation to that case. How would you relate a question to the case? How would you really pick up the relevant information from the case? How would you answer that? Keeping the time frame into consideration is something that we've really, really excelled on over here. And then coming on to the last one, my friend, that is the section C. That is the long case kind of questions, my friend, wherein you really have to spend good amount of time. We have really devoted 
good amount of good amount of effort on that in terms of giving you all the techniques that you may need in terms of handling all those those questions that you may get to see whether it is the group question or whether it is the cash flow questions and whatnot you would get all the arc all the all the techniques needed in terms of handling that in the best possible way this not only helps my friend you getting the feeler as to how the questions may look like but also helps you in terms of practically applying the ifrs's on to those questions and really coming up with the flooring colors after that we will also be sharing some of the best practice sharing all the learnings on the past exam there are examiner reports my friend that are already there that really explains you in terms of you know how the overall exam issues are there how many issues are there where all other students are really struggling with we have taken up all of those areas my friend and have really given you perspective in terms of you know what the mistakes had been in the past so that you can just get away with it and last but not the least my friend is the cbe exam my friend many of you are scared are scared by giving the exam on to the computer and to really eliminate that my friend really eliminate that fear we are here to give you the cbe cb exam demo also by doing some questions on to the cbe format to give you the flavor as to how your exam may look like and how you really have to take the benefit of all of those cbe tools and apply it over there it really helps you have the full i would say overview of the exam my friend and ability to handle that in the best possible way and of course help you in terms of coming from the exam with the flying colors isn't that the total package that you made before you sit for the exam absolutely yes sir i know my friend that is why it has been very helpful to various students in the past and i'm sure this is going to be very helpful to you too now that is what i wanted to cover in this session my friend to give you a perspective as to how the revision boot camp would look like i'll see you again now my friend in the first session of revision boot camp till then this pankaj singra signing off